You feel okay? Yeah? You ready to go home? Lay in your bed? You think you'd be able to stand for a second or two so we can make sure you fit on these crutches? Um, dressing when he came out, I changed this. I'll take that as a maybe. Say hi. Wanna say something for your documentary? For your documentary? I'm tired. <laughs> Anything else? Any experiences or ready to stand up? You ready to stand up? Yes. Try your crutches? Yeah, you've been sitting for a while there. Strong. See those dips. You've seen a lot of spot bed ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand up straight, hips forward. Good posture. Should it go right there? Yep. There. Alright, stay right there. Stay right He's there. gonna scoop you out of the chair. Mama, your documentary is gonna be so good. Here it is, come on. Oh. Left legs. Oh, yeah. oh. Kind of back here. I'm gonna scoop this out of the way. There you go. Grab that elbow here. Left hand, left hand, right hand. So right here we have the CPM machine. This machine allowed me to move my knee up and down as you can see without me actually using my muscles. So in the next slide, right here, you see the numbers constantly going down and then you see numbers to the left and to the right that stay constant. So the 37 is the total degree that I was able to bend my knee when the machine moved it and the negative 10 shows the extension of my knee. So the 37 is the flex and the negative 10 is the extension and the numbers just constantly move over time. So as you can see, this is also the first day. This was me thinking that it would be a good idea to try to get some exercise and to try to start working again on my knee. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing the brace that at the time didn't allow me to bend my knee at all. So it kept my knee straight, but it also didn't allow my knee to move left or right. Um, but yeah, it hurts so much. It hurt towards the calf and around the patella, in the hamstring, and around my quadricep. Okay, first full trip around the world at 12.23. First full trip around the world. No need asking her how she's feeling. <laughs> well, don't get shy now. Got a brand new rag, so it's nice and absorbent, cotton, wipe up all those tears. So right here is the process I had to go through every single time I had to use the bathroom or I wanted to get out of bed. We would first, well, we'd first bring my leg up onto the bed, the injured leg, and then we would proceed to take the brace off because there are two straps, well, there are four straps all together, two towards the thigh and two towards my calf. And so usually my dad would help me take those off, unbuckle them, and then we'd usually lift my leg up a little bit so he could pull it out. And then after he pulls it out, we would then lift my leg into the CPM machine, as you see right here. And we would usually strap it in, but sometimes the straps hurt due to the pressure, so we wouldn't do that always. So I was crying earlier, but I also did end up crying due to the pain after I got back in bed and when I was sitting in the front room. So the pain hit me twice. Uh, I then, I believe I took pills, two pills after that to numb the pain and I believe I fell asleep. As you guys can see, I tried to put pressure on um, my knee, but it just wasn't, it was My knee is still very, very sensitive to being, having like pressure on it. It hurts mainly around the patella around the general area of where it is, and also right above it. Day two, handy person, they're gonna walk around the block. So this is my day two walk. I believe I took two of my painkiller pills um, about 30 minutes before I went on this little walk, and that really helped a lot. Uh, I was able to apply pressure, as you can see. I put my knee down and I sometimes drag my foot, or I lift it up fully and actually take a real step. Um, you may also notice that I am wearing the same shirt and shorts from my last video 
and in future videos probably because I could not shower. That was something that I just couldn't do when my knee was so freshly cut open and so sore at the time. So yes, that is just a disclaimer and a something that you may have noticed. So the updates are seemingly getting shorter and shorter each day because basically all the pain was either the same or it would lessen. So I believe my time recovery was going by pretty quickly. Uh, right here, this is day nine. I skipped from day three to day nine because between that first week, the pain was so similar that there was no real like changes. Able to get in and out of the bed by myself I've been able to take myself to the bathroom I still have yet to take an actual shower the most I've done so far was have my mom like kind of help wipe me off and that was just up top and I did my bottom half um with like wipes I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the, I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the um documentary this is day 10 so on day 10 I was almost Fully able to weight bear, I believe. Um, walking, I'm not sure if I was fully able to walk, but I was definitely walking with one crutch by this time. But um, yeah, I was able to weight bear a lot better than on the second day. Okay, this is in Milani on two, the third week. She can walk. She's walking like a boss. Go on, girl. You can do it. That's it. Hey, I was... Oh! <laughs> almost broke my crutch. Her knees hurt, man. <laughs> Shh. I don't see that on camera, Mom. Okay. Uh, let's see. The doctor's notes. Let's see. Here is the doctor's note. Arthroscopic lateral lease with open patellofemoral reconstruction. So that is what I'm going with as a diagnosis, right knee, medial patellofemoral ligament reconstruction, lateral release. There's not a big difference between what I would do for an ACL versus what I would do for the, M, the patellofemoral ligament. So when it comes to treatment wise, it's really the same thing. The same thing. So right here, we have the electric stimulation machine. This machine sent electricity through my body, through my muscle right here that you'll see contract in a bit right here it's an electricity to make that muscle contract because I couldn't fully make it contract because it was so weak after the surgery so they hooked me up to this and I believe I have been using this machine for about four weeks now and this is just what the machine looks like nothing serious so, but yeah. and this is over on the inner side or the medial side and this is over on the lateral or the outer side. We drill one tunnel in through the kneecap this way and then over here we drill another tunnel that kind of angles up this way but then there's another part of that tunnel that then goes all the way across much thinner and then we take that tendon and we loop it kind of part of it goes in here and then the other part of it comes up and into this and then we, we loop the tendon back on itself and stitch it kind of right next to it here. But So part of the tendon is inside the tunnel there, part of it is inside there, but all of it is kind of running from here over to the inner side where that ligament used to be. So that's holding that in place um, where that ligament used to be torn and just letting it kind of slide okay. out to the side. But the little fixation device there's a little titanium button, kind of again way over on the side here, that has a long rope that kind of goes all the way to that tendon to kind of hold it in place while it's healing. At this okay. point though, the tendon has bonded into the bone really solidly, so the fixation mm -hmm. helps, you know, make sure that nothing comes apart while you're continuing to work it, but your, your body is already kind of latched onto that tendon and started to bond it into the bone. So this is just a little inside of my surgery. Um, right there you see them pulling away at some loose cartilage right there too uh they went in and got those pieces of cartilage out because they were wearing away at my knee cartilage and that was causing me to have early on arthritis so they got those out as well as doing the whole mpfl surgery
People say I drive too fast, move too fast, live too fast Ain't no such thing as too fast for me People say I drive too fast, move too fast, live too fast Ain't no such thing as too fast for me